Nevada FFA, you are about to hear from another outstanding individual. Before our state officer team met for the first time at the Eureka Clay Shoe, I had no idea who this individual was. But after spending many hours laughing together, sharing stories, and taking spontaneous road trips after she gets off the graveyard shifts, I think it's safe to say she is one of my best friends. Zooming in from various jungles is Hunter Drost, Melody Justice, and Tanner Balda to introduce your state treasurer, Haley Horton, as she delivers her retiring address titled One Foot in Front of the Other. Oh, Haley, where to begin? I remember when we came back from the 2019 state convention and you told me that you were going to run for state office. I remember how excited and nervous you were when it came time to submit your application and go through the interview process. When you called me saying that you're the 2020-2021 Nevada FFA state treasurer, I was so excited that you achieved one of the top things on your bucket list. Haley, I am so proud of the person you've become through this organization and how you will carry that with what you've learned with you and your future endeavors. I am so excited about what the next chapter of your life holds for you, knowing that the FFA has shaped you into a person who is not only ready for whatever is thrown at her, but is caring, determined, and above all, a person who I'm proud to know and call a friend. It's not often that you meet someone in life that you immediately connect with. However, Haley has always been someone that I have enjoyed being around. Like any great high school friendship, we met through our crazy over-involvement in the organizations that we love. For us, those were Student Council and FFA. Over the past few years, we have shared our fair share of Instagram boomerangs, road trips, and random adventures. Through it all, I'm thankful for the laughs, deep life talks, and crazy memories we've made together. I'm so proud to have watched Haley grow into the incredible young woman she is today, and to watch the impact that she continues to make on everyone she interacts with. Whether it's her constant reminder about how much she loves her bees or her big personality, she always leaves a mark wherever she ends up. She has spent this year dedicated to Nevada FFA, but I can assure you that Haley will continue to make a giant impact in whatever she chooses to do. These last few years of getting to know Haley, we've had some crazy adventures from flying all the way across the United States to driving all the way to Bridgeport just to go to the hot springs for an hour. She has definitely made my life more exciting. From the moment I met Haley, I knew that the org this organization would be a huge part of Haley's life. Throughout high school, Haley was a huge, always big in agriculture. She had her own beekeeping business, helped with turkey processing, and so much more. I'm so proud to have seen everything you have accomplished these last few years, Haley. Please help me welcome your 2020-2021 State Treasurer, Haley Horton. But look to my eyes struggle to complete something. Keep your hand up if it was something that you really wanted but weren't feeling so motivated to complete it. And trust me, I'm not the only one. We might feel this way about things like homework, going to meetings, or just being present in life in general. I want to tell you about a time in my life when I struggled to complete something. October 2018, was when we first noticed something strange about my 10-year-old sister, Maddie. We were in Smith Valley, walking down to the tractor pools, when suddenly she stopped 
and started spinning in a circle and blinking her eyes really fast. I was starting to get really frustrated, so in my big sister voice I said, Maddie, we gotta get going. Finally, she snapped out of it. Later that night, I told my dad about what had happened. We didn't think too much about it because it wasn't abnormal for my sister Maddie to try and upset me. It's so crazy how the most unexpected things happen in our lives and cause us to come to a screeching halt and kill our motivation. However, we can use these things to push us forward. I want you to imagine something. Go ahead and close your eyes. I want you to picture your future in front of you. What are you walking towards? Is it a college, a job, or even your future house? You can open your eyes. My junior year, I was walking towards graduation. But suddenly, my path didn't seem so important when, in December 2018, my sister's life changed forever. During school that day, the secretary came into my classroom and told me that my sister had collapsed on the playground and was having a seizure. They wanted me to go out and wait for the ambulance with her, but I was hysterical. That night, my sister was carelifted to UC Davis in Sacramento. She had a cavernoma on her brain, which is a tangle of blood vessels that leaks blood, which calcifies and causes seizures. She needed surgery. March 2019, my sister had a very successful surgery, but she'll need to take medication and precautions for the rest of her life. My sister's situation really got to me. My junior year, my grades began to drop, and my senior year, it was hard for me to even show up to school. As graduation got closer, I was genuinely afraid that I wasn't going to make it. Luckily, one of my teachers that I was really close to reminded me that even if it was hard, I needed to put one foot in front of the other and finish out high school. I needed to show my sister that I'm strong. Even though it might be hard, we need to find our motivation, whether that be the wise words of a teacher, a motivational quote, or even something as simple as a song. We need to find our strength and our motivation in order to put one foot in front of the other. Use whatever that motivation is to take that first step and don't stop. I want us to picture our future again, but this time imagine that somebody builds a huge brick wall in front of it. What's going to be the thing that motivates you to take those steps in order to clear that wall? What's going to be the thing that when these unexpected things happen in our lives, you say, no, I choose to put one foot in front of the other. We talked about some pretty heavy stuff tonight, but I hope that my story resonates with you. If my story is what you need to motivate yourself, use it. I know that we can all be successful and have high hopes for our future if we just keep putting one foot in front of the other. One foot in front of the other Haley, through this crazy year, thank you so much for all the crazy memories and becoming one of my best friends. And thank you for showing all of us to take one step and put it in front of the other. I now present you your retiring jacket and your buckle. For the last time, Nevada FFA, I present you your 2020-2021 state treasurer, Haley Horton. Not a soul